Hello YouTubers. Today I'm going to show you how to get rid of this annoying ground loop noise as you're hearing through these speakers. Now that's just with the PA system right here. Remember this? With the phone? I'm trying to set this back up. But I want to get rid of this ground loop noise because I've been having this issue for a while now. I'm going to turn that down because it's just annoying. So... And when the phone goes off, the ground loop noise all, goes all the way down. But watch when I hang it up. Goes back up again. Now, what you're going to need for this project is an old AC adapter. And I guarantee you that all, you have these laying around your house. These old brick adapters that I already took apart. Now this one's probably from the early 2000s. Now, of course this was given to me. It was just given to me with a box of other cords and more AC adapters. But I would prefer using the older AC adapters like this big block transformer. I guarantee also that a boombox transformer will work. You could get these out of a boombox. It should do the same thing. Now this board here you're not going to need. So that, just we're going to delete that. But for right now, I'm just going to put alligator clips on the diodes. Because it's got little traces in the back. But you could solder this off. Now, our audio source is going to come in these two prongs that you would plug in the wall outlet. And then from the 12-volt side, your audio source will go out to your computer or audio equipment in your case. So... And you can actually you can actually reuse this too as an enclosure instead of going out buying ground loop isolators. You can actually find an old AC adapter. Now this one's a 12 volt AC adapter at 1000 milliamps. So here's my audio source coming in, and I'm gonna actually so you guys could hear this. I'm not gonna turn it all the way up. So here it is, the ugly ground loop noises. I'm going to unplug this. You gotta get these alligator clips undone. So I got this undone. Now that annoying buzz is because I had the ground hooked up. I disconnected red, which is the hot wire, which is also the main. If you just leave your ground hooked up, you're gonna get that ugly 60 hertz cycle noise, which is pretty annoying, especially for your audio equipment. So just like how it would be used in a wall outlet situation, like if you were to hook it in the wall outlet, this little prong here will be red, which is hot. That's your neutral, which would be ground. And I'm just going to seal this so I, there's no interferences. So, that's my input from there. And as you can see, and this isn't fake, this is real. And just ignore that wire. Apparently this would work for dial-up too, but I don't have dial-up here and I couldn't demonstrate that to you, so. Here's my wires going down through this wire, which goes back into there. That's the output from this. And now... This is my red right here. The green is my red. Like that. Now you could solder this. This is just for demonstration purposes only. So now I'm going to show you guys that there's traces. So I'm going to say that's hot right there. And there's that little trace there. So I have to clip it to one of these dials. In my case, I'm just going to clip it to that second dial. So. So yeah, there you got some activity. 
But once you hook it up, it will magically go away. As you can hear, it's gone. No more ground loop noises. What this does is it filters it all out. And I'm going to pick up the phone. And I can speak through without having the ugly ground loop noises happen. And I'll turn it up more so you guys can hear. Now that noise is coming from the VGA. I'm going to see if I can make another ground loop isolator for this. That issue that I'm having. But there's zero ground loop. Zero ground loop noises. And I haven't had this happen until I saw a video and I wanted to show you guys how to do this because hey it's cheap because I've been having problems with this interfering with my radio and computer left and right channel through all these speakers so now I need to do it in the back now in the computers disconnect the VGA I hope this video was helpful to you guys that have the ground loop issues with certain audio equipment or makeshift audio equipment like this right here so, I hope this video helped you guys out once again, and subscribe to